Now, Lebanon and Israel have ended a long-standing dispute over their shared maritime border. The two countries are still formally at war, so leaders signed the agreement separately. Both nations hope to benefit from mineral resources within the formally disputed area. EW's Tanya Kramer reports, explains now what the dispute was about. The Mediterranean Sea off the coast between Israel and Lebanon. These were contested waters. Both countries have long been locked in dispute over where the maritime border lies. Behind the scenes, negotiations have gone on for several years. Now Israel and Lebanon have agreed on a maritime border deal mediated by the United States. This agreement strengthens Israel's security and our freedom of action against Hezbollah and the threats to our north. There is rare consensus in the security establishment regarding the necessity of this agreement. The dispute is about a relatively small, triangle-shaped area, with each side claiming their part as exclusive economic zone. The area is expected to be rich in offshore gas. Israel and Lebanon have a long history of conflict. The two countries fought a war in 2006, and there have been many security incidents between Israel and the Lebanese Shiite militant group Hezbollah since. Parts of the country's land border, the Blue Line, a demarcation line by the UN, is also disputed. Whether the maritime border deal could be a step towards a wider peace agreement is unclear. But the deal paves the way to more gas exploration, a potential economic benefit for both countries. Well, our correspondents in Beirut and Jerusalem have been following developments. Rebecca Ritters in Jerusalem told me what this deal means for Israel. Well, Phil, this deal has been in the making for more than a decade. Uh, there have been numerous rounds of negotiations, all of which have failed until a couple of weeks ago when a deal was finally reached between the two sides. And we've now seen it signed in uh, by Michel Aoun, the Lebanese president, and uh, the caretaker prime minister here in Israel, Yair Lapid. Now, all sides, and in fact it was a US brokered deal, all parties involved are calling this deal historic. I and mean, let's not forget that these two countries, as you rightly mentioned, are still technically at war. Uh, they have no diplomatic relations. In fact, Lebanon doesn't even recognize recognize Israel as a sovereign state. So the fact that two countries in this situation could sign a deal like this maritime border deal is being heralded as a historic step. Uh, the benefits will be, of course, for both sides and very far reaching. For Israel, uh, for example, of course, there's political and diplomatic benefits. Um, there's also the economic benefits and security guarantees. Now, Israel has long wanted to explore these gas wells uh, that it has considered for a long time on its side of the maritime border, now uh, formally agreed inside its maritime border. It knows that those gas fields uh, have a lot of gas in them and it's long wanted to extract them, but it's been under threat by the Iran-backed Hezbollah on the Lebanon side that if it were to explore those fields uh, or in fact extract gas out of them without such a deal as we're seeing today, uh, that it would come under threat and would be attacked. Now, of course, Israel is free to go and explore those fields and extract the gas. And in fact, it's already doing so. Yesterday, uh, Energy and the company that is drilling on the Israeli side, uh, they announced that the gas was already flowing from one of those wells and that it would soon even be able to start delivering to its partners in the next couple of days, in fact. Now, that is going to be met uh, with smiles by EU leaders who are desperately trying to bridge the gap left by turning off the tap from Russia since the invasion of Ukraine. So, you know, the benefits from this deal are going to be very far-reaching. For Israel, for one, though, it really says that this is a tacit agreement by a sworn enemy. In fact, Yair Lapid said words to that effect as he was signing the document. As you rightly pointed out, that's not exactly how it's seen in Lebanon, but nonetheless, this is a very significant deal, Phil. OK, thank you for that, uh, Rebecca. Mohamed Schreiter in uh, Beirut. So how does Lebanon see this deal? Well, it's it's a different it's a different uh, perspective. Uh, definitely, uh, this morning the Lebanese president uh, Michel Aoun said that the agreement is purely technical and does not have uh, any political implications uh, or effects 
uh, that contradicts Lebanon's foreign policy and uh, relations uh, with other states. The two states are still technically uh, at war. However, the agreement is expected to bring some stability to the area and uh, opens the way uh, uh, for offshore energy exploration as it removes a main source of potential conflict between uh, Israel and uh, Lebanon, mainly uh, the Iranian-backed heavily, group, heavily armed group. Uh, Lebanese Hezbollah. Uh, Lebanese officials are uh, hoping that this agreement helps uh, elevate Lebanon's economic crisis. Uh, the country's economy has been in free fall for three years now. Uh, the exploration of hydrocarbons is a huge deal for Lebanon as a uh, significant discovery could help ease the uh, country's stifling financial uh, crisis.